<laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome my friends and foes alike, and all those who have not decided what side to be on. Welcome to Elite Dangerous Beta 3.0. So I skipped videoing, uh, making a video for the beta 2, as you might have noticed, simply because A, I didn't get around to it, and uh, B, um, because beta 2 was a very large overhaul, changed a lot of things, I was rather busy testing a lot of them out, made a record number of tickets, never did open so many tickets in uh, anything, not even in any game, as, well this is one of the Betas I have most participated in, but here we go, we are the beta 3. Well, let's check if my options are. Yeah. That has, uh, that has um, changed as well, so the options are now saved, even if the client updates. So, all the, um, all the save games, however, were wiped. So. As you can see here, the spinning ship has changed. This spinning ship here now is a federal dropship. One of the two new ships. Space ships, of course, who are in this game. And uh, we will now check. So we will now start again with a basic ship. We will start with... Um, um, probably a side wonder again, which has now a basic two lasers onto to it and a thousand credits on the account as usual. So this is still the basic one. Here we go. We're still studying at Azaban, which is an Aronin. We are flying a side wonder. Yes, definitely. So as you can see, the interface has changed a lot. Can you see the detail here? The detail of the surrounding here of of the dock and everything. And can you see how bright and shiny the interface now is? So let's take a look around. This uh, is me, <laughs> as you can see, the controls and everything. Um, I'm not really that, I'm not really that skinny far from it actually. So I see. Oh, nice. So, if you look at this, see, you can see here the stats now. Um, you can see another rank. Rank is harmless. I um, saved my credits. 929,000. I, I still have my money. Are you kidding me? I still have my money. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's awesome. We can immediately check out new ships, man. That's cool. 929,000 credits. Rank. That means they sold my eagle, which was very nicely noted. So, this is new, as you can see, completely new. Um, this new window here, you get the news around here. Here are the news, if you can open here, for example, this one. Fighting continues at Erin 2, Erin 4, and Erin 6. So, if I wanted to check out fighting zones, I could go there. Let's see on the garnet news. Federal dropship now available. Let's see here. Um, the interdictors. Yeah, you can now frame shift drive interdict. You can now interdict a super cruise. So, um, I cannot buy a ship here. That's new. Um, so that's not possible anymore. But um, yeah, let's see how this goes out. You know, um, I can go to outfitting though and change this. Oh, I can only buy missile weapons. Did you, do you see how expensive everything has become? <laughs> this is really great, but I don't care. Hey, double utility mount. Where did that come from? Fuel tank capacity 2, cargo rack capacity 4, basic discovery is gonna... Who cares? So, um... Yeah, this is the bulletin board. You can see loads of that here, feeding the fuels. You can available missile, but available and unobtainable. This is also new. Previously it was only available missiles, now these are available and unobtainable. So I could, for example, trade reactive armor. Uh, oh right, I should get three reactive armor in like six hours to get 30,000 credits. 
I could do that. Like here, this too. I could um, do T to Vomilic Foy in Morgor. Um, 18,100 credits if I complete it, 1,700 credits if I fail at it, fine. You know? so, but who cares? We First of all, we're going to change it. So, we're going to exit. We're going to launch. Now, this is also new, the pre checklist, as you can see. This happens once if you start a new game. That's it. Once. So, good job. You. See that? Down. So you know what you do. Go left. Go right. Go right. Go left. And thrust right. That's the button for me. No, that's thrust left. That's thrust right. Right. This is uh, thrust up. Here we go. And thrust down. Here we go. Throttle up. Throttle down. Landing gear test is this button. Yes, here we go. Target ahead is uh, this one. Oh, that's primary fire, yeah. Go with three. Oh, yeah, that's this one. Right, 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 right. My mistake. And uh, left shift is the UI focus, which I nearly never use. <laughs> so, um, really on. So, let's get on here. I hope you can understand me. Okay. All right, because we're on a platform. I forgot that one. So, this is also the new stations, the platform stations. Small stations would have low gravity. Diffic now in beta 3, more difficult to land, more difficult to start. But as you can see, did you, did you, can you see how much the graphics have improved again? And this was a good game before. But look at this, this Ship beauty. Engines engaged. So you see, I, I move because the gravity is so low. Ooh, and I move fast. Let's go up here. So, I changed my landing gear back button. Oh, that's nice. It says that the landing gear is retracted. Very good. So. Ah, isn't that a beauty? This is a planet below us, so you can see it. So let's go to our usual. So where do you want to go? We want to go to Stux. Why do we want to go to Stux? Because Stux has, well, had incredibly well, um, Drive had incredible good equipment. So we're gonna go there. So now we're charging off a nice little fridge of fire. And I'm really curious about what's going to happen here. Because if they ramped up everything, I'm hoping they ramped up this one. Oh, yes, they did. Oh, yes, they did. Oh. So, let's take a look around here. See that? I get a strange sound problem around here. It's quite... Very nice. This double emergency st uh, stop is strange. Three times. That is a strange. Probably a bug. We'll report that. The O-ring cluster. That's new. Do help go support. Okay, as you can see here, um, it just says you that there is a go support and a true hub in here. It doesn't say you tell you what kind of this uh, kind of uh, points those are. Check that out. Okay, go to the system view. I there is a strange sound error here. You can't hear that on the recording, I tested it earlier. It also happens at the intro, but it happens in my in my earpiece. Give me the system to you. What's going on here? A little bit troublesome. Seems like it froze. Did it freeze? Seems like the game froze, guys. I always had some more problems with that one. Let's see. Nope, here it is. Okay, here we go. So here we are. And uh, as you can see, you can see the planet here. And uh, yeah, you can see the planet here, and you see two stations. This is a platform sign here. 
and this is the station sign. The station is Chu Hub. Like okay, so we're gonna go to. As you can also see, there is now background music. A very humble background music. So it took a while here. So we're gonna fly to Chu Hub. Chu Hub is 651. So the thing that is has not gone and will not go ever. Oh wait, I have this. If turn, so. Do not go ever. It's a super cruise. A super cruise will stay. Sorry to say that. It's gotten better with the music. Engine sounds a little bit lower. Graphics of like the planet here. Planet on the on the uh, you can see on the uh, uh, left hand side, which is now selected, and on the right hand side for uh, chip. Nice glow. And uh, as you can see, the uh, used look of a sidewinder cheap sidewinder basic ship like an old 80s old 80s student car basically it's like that it's like in germany would be like a golf 2 in not so good condition <laughs> that's how this car i i heard in a development video that they actually modeled the interiors of the ships from cars or planes and they oriented themselves a lot on, on car manufacturers and how they create interior for luxury and basic cars okay i'm way too fast i'm way too fast i messed up here i didn't pay attention yeah yeah, yeah. Got, we're gonna miss this one by a mile so we're gonna make a nice little loop here that's the easiest way if you have miscalculated your speed to make a little loop here so the speed is nice and down so and we are already in the range as you can see the uh, 1 to 10 range is slow but very continuous so let's saying that you want if you want to arrive uh, safely you, uh, you you choose the 1 and 10 and if you uh, want to go for um, a little bit more speed you go uh, well, one to f not five. So, if you, as you can see, for example, uh, as, as you can see here, like I'm at 500 kilometers per second. I've got around three to go. That is very stable. So, the one to six ratio is about that. So, safe disengage is ready. And as you can see, a lot of change in the interface as well. So, the planet themselves. I'm always on the shadow side right now. The sun is behind this planet, so that's why it's. The, the look is so strange, but um, a lot has changed here. And the the uh, there was another ship uh, on top of the screen, and the trail that ship makes in Super Cruise has changed as well. The disengages are still the thing is you're jumping into is a zone, basically you're zoning. This is zoning, and when you zone, um, the zone is, gets loaded. And it's either overloaded or otherwise not that good. You can see this is a station. It's a strange station because it does not have a ring. So it has no habitals, habitat or anything. Well, it's a luxury habitat. Um, but you now jump out very close to the station. About 10 kilometers to be exact. Reverse oh, fabulous. At one. Okay, so uh, before that it was 20. Now it's 10. Big over. Let's use the boost of this nice little ship. So, as you can see, well, it's basically the, every station flies the same way. There is one entrance, you have to get to the entrance, you have to know where the entrance is, which for most stations is very normal and only for the, uh, the most basic stations, the cubes, you have to check on it. And there's, that's still always a fudging ship blocking the entrance, man. Really annoying. So, and the house has already been one and destroyed. So let's get the landing gear out. That is also still a bug. Five times landing gear deployed. Landing gear deployed. And now it says landing gear deployed. That is very nice. That is new, as I said. Always waiting for somebody to tell me when the stupid landing gear is actually completely down. Stop 
Okay, we go. Okay. Engines disengaged. So let's get inside of the station. Oh, how nice. Ooh, bowling ball station. So very nice. So here we go. Um, as you can see here, this is also new. You can refuel 10% of your tank or all of it. The prices are really low. Let's go with all of it. And we have a shipyard here. And we go to the shipyard. And this is very new. This is all completely new. I don't have a free view of the ship and what it does. That is completely new. You see that? The two, this is a Hall of and Zorgan Peterson, two agility miles, one small hot points, blah 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 blah. Don't like that one. This is the Eagle from Core Dynamics. I love this ship. Um, internal components, small hard points. Oh, that's that's what they equip. They have three small hard points, but only two have this, and this is the basic what they go with. We have the Sagwinder from Falcon Electric, we already fly that one. If you would buy that one, we would pay 32,000 credits. That is idiotic. This is the ASP, a new ship that came in the last update. Um, this is uh, the civilian version of the military uh, ASP MK2. Um, it has Four small hard points, two medium hard points, and four utility, four utility mods. This is really strong ship, but it flies like a pig. There is no easier shoot down than the ass. This is completely new. I don't know this one. Federal dropship. A federal dropship is a Federation Navy's workhorse ship for tactical and special forces deployment. Well armored, well armed, capable of carrying uh, large loads. Vessel to nature well suited to tackling even the most hostile environment. So one large, four medium. That is a lot. No small hard points. Four times utility mounts. Loads of internal compartments. Comes with two lone pulse razors. Cargo rack with eight, sixteen, twenty, <laughs> and twenty, thirty-two. So you can see like it's like fifty. That's that's a lot of load. On the stunner, you can upgrade all that stuff, but it costs a hefty sum 37,000 credits. Let's see, what do you have? Six? The type 6 transporter, which only costs about 1 million, two small hot points, three utility mounts, one and two pulse lasers, but has a serious big company. He has 33, uh, 32, 40, 48, 48 basic cargo, okay, and the Cobra cut. Three, Orkan de Lacy, lovely ship, still is. Too small, too medium, both lasers, da 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 da. And the Viper, whose utility, too small, too medium. Um, fuel tank, cargo rack, quite basic. So, and we're back to the hauler. So, what are we going to take? The Vipers and the Falcon are both the Lacy ship. But the Eagle's core dynamics. The Eagle is a proven combat fighter with a distinguished history. It's one of the smallest fighters available with jump capability. It has a distinction of being the only ship that has been so successful versions, has been built for both the Federation and Imperial Navies. This war has been superseded by respective Navy's short range fighter programs, but the Eagle still sees extensive service across human space. Core dynamics are no longer building these ships, but do still provide parts and services due to their popularity. The Eagle is has has become an insanely good ship so we're gonna take the eagle right now i was flying the entire beta 2 with an eagle so we're gonna take the so we're gonna purchase it um i can sell my current ship and buy a new one or i can store my current ship and buy this one i'm going to buy this new so this is also new you can have multiple ships it is completely new and which is also new which is also very strange is whenever you buy a new ship there is very often the possibility that your game crashes crashes freezes whatever ish in this case it doesn't very nice so we've now got the eagle we go back to the starboard services and here we have my beautiful, beautiful new eagle. So let's go to outfitting. The first thing we want to know 
is can we buy a new power plant? We can. Can we buy a new fire? No. And that already is strange. Because we should have. But we can't. So let's see. C and B thruster. Mass. Oh, loads of power at all though. Uh, what what thrusters am I flying right now? Uh, three. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm selling my current thrusters and into my yeah. So let's see. What do we have as a power distributor? We can upgrade all this stuff. Uh, right now I'm flying it too. That's okay. Integrity is okay. So let's compare them. As you can see, it has more weapons capacity, more weapons recharge. More engine capacity is an absolutely natural thing to to upgrade one, and it's way lighter. It saves me 1.5 tons too. So we're gonna buy this one. Yeah. Oh. So what can we do with the shield gun? Shield generator. Nope. One class. Refinery. Oh yeah, right. You can mine now. That is, that's true. You can mine now. and you can intercept. As you can see, these are intercept. Jam shift drive into Dictor. This is pulls targets off of winter. Uh, oh, they're super quick. So this is super cool. So it seems that I cannot upgrade my shield. Uh, this one, the E3 to a better E is. Like you have to go to E, C, F, um, upwards in the alphabet. So I cannot upgrade this. Find a crib. Nope. Can buy a bigger one than this. I can. Uh, I don't care what. Do I have a? Nope. Don't have that. But we're gonna replace this one, aren't we? Is it discovery? We had this one, we had this one now. Detailed surface scanner, no, 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 we're not gonna replace that one either. So, electronic countermeasure. Ah, a silent torpedo, knife launcher, flange of wake scanner, cargo scanner, go warning scanners. Very nice gonna go for a heat sink launcher. So and let's look at the hard point. Yeah there's nothing here. So that's this torpedo pilot. Torpedoes multi cannon. Mine launchers, yeah mine launchers are also new. There is no gimbal anymore. This is beam weapon, target weapon, target weapon, target weapon. So is this gimbal? Yes, it is. This the symbol here means gimbal. Okay, so they remove the gimbal and just call it. So this is a gimbal pulse laser. Do they have a low heat gimbal pulse laser? No, they don't. They have only focus and overcharge non uh, gimbal. But we want gimbal, so we're gonna buy this gimbal. Yep. As you can see here, now we got a weapon. We're gonna replace this one with a gimbal as well. Yep. Gonna buy him third gimbal. So lately, this is the latest. Time. The thing is, these will draw a lot of power. A lot of power. And I wish I could upgrade my power plant. Then. So, yes, this is also new. That this screen disappears afterwards. I have to report that, man. So let's see here. You can see my reputation and the different demographics. 
haven't I? Yeah, see that? Ooh, hand gang. Six first. So these are factions in this. It's a power, I'm using 114% of my power, which is really bad. Um, let's find the fire. So, this is here. And you're gonna use one like this. Why? I'm gonna see. I'm gonna wait and see. Anyway. So the thing is, my heatsink is low power, my shields are low power, I have to do something. Uh, no bounties. No bomber vouchers, no criminal records, everything's fine. I need a better power plant. Give me a better power plant. Give me a better power plant, huh? So... We're gonna use a merit surface composite. Or are we? Now we're gonna use a reactor surface composite. And can we finally apply a paint job? No, I have still not found any place with a decent paint job. So! Ah, just a second. Where are we? We are at... Yeah, we can. We can. The thing, thing is, our jump range has, of course, gone way down because of our weight. Um, we have to handle our power now. Simply because I need to fly to a different... Yeah, the, the thrusters are drawing a lot of power now. Speed generator... No, cheat credit is a one. It's a one priority. The yeah, cargo hatch is a three priority. And we'll be... We, we don't need a cargo hatch right now. Um, this is a competency. These are two priorities because we're just gonna fly. Life support is a one priority for crying out loud. Heat sink launcher is not. The uh, cargo rack can be disabled and would be normally at three. Now can we discover it again? You're still at. Let's. We need to do one less. No, that's not enough. It's because of the thrusters, you know. Thrusters. I got good thrusters, but I don't have the power plant to use them. Definitely. And a power plant's quite a lot. If I. Yeah. Pulse laser. I'm gonna skip one of my pulse. So. Why can we fly? We can fly to Arlen. Let's check Arlen. So as you can see, I can start just normally. There is no need for me to get any if I check, and then once, and I said, oh, that's much faster. Hey, that used to take ages. Thank you. As you can see, the eagle is so much faster, and I have very advanced thrusters. So, this ship is a beauty to fly. Right now. So, here we go. I'm gonna take you a look around. As you can see, this is like a luxury ship. See that? Designed like that. It's slick, it's smooth, long, big windows. You can see here's the station. If you look back, isn't that a lovely sight? And uh, as you can see, everything is slick, nice, you know, looks like aluminum or at least high level plastic. And, um, do we have the one toe separated from the others? Like totally Japanese shoe works. As you can see, I can fly 240 easily. And we're gonna jump.
into the blue liquid. As you can see, I again have the sound error. It's just very new. Here we go. So this is also basically jumping from one zone into the other zone via a zone. And this sound is really weird. I'm, I'm really curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This emergency stop to close matches now appears five times. This is as you can see, many other ships around here. See that? Other commanders, actually. Here's a commander, here's a commander. You can see that this guy is camping. This is wait. This guy is waiting for something. So, let's see. Where is... There's enough beating here. We're gonna fly to all in the device. Which is... Exactly where this guy is camping. See that? He's camping here, and he's camping here, and he's wanted. He, he he's wanted. Yeah, he's wanted. He's an interdictor. You can see that. You see that? He's a wanted interdictor. We are going to make a nice flight around him. So this is, of course, makes the super cruise much interest, much more interesting. And we're gonna fly into this thing really fast so i'm going to go like yeah like two before really fast and i'm gonna approach it from the bottom here we go yeah past one past two here we go Yeah, this is nearly normal speed uh, and in here. So, let's see. And now we go to all in. I am... Yeah, interdiction detected, you hear that? Somebody's trying to stop me. That? Ooh, everything is screeching. So I'm going to go. He's trying to interdict me. I'm still around, and here we go. We jump out. I escape. <laughs> I, I, I could take on a viper in a combat, but I am uh, a bit worried about my power distribution right now. So I'm. As you can see, uh, the planet behind, uh, in front of us, behind the station. Um, now you can see weather, you can see storms, you can see polar caps, all new. But do you hear the new sound effects? Whoop, 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 machine, frame shift drive coming down. Oh, this is so lovely. Let's see, this is all in, all in still one of the most awesome stations you can find. Highly developed Oculus station. Did there just a ship explode? I believe so. The uh, sound bug is still there. So, because there's a strange sound bug as well. I probably did it probably again. So, let's go here. My shields are not offline. That was a strange message. Feel offline. So, land this ship. Here we go. Ooh! Everyone and their mother is visiting. Look at that. Completely loaded here. Yeah. You hear that? There is somebody exploded. And you shouldn't hear that. It's so far away. Landing gear deployed. Damn it. It's, everything is. Frame rate is really dropping right now, sorry about that. Man, busy port. So, yeah. Normally, yeah, let's enter the hangar. First reflex as always is entering the hangar. Okay, 
way? What is this? Not reacting. Didn't react. Huh. Here we go. First of all, we're gonna refuel. And then we go to outfitting, and now it has to enter me into the hangar, actually. Not entering me into the hangar, what gives? Yeah, of course I can't, I can't outfit. If you don't enter me into the hangar, I can't outfit. Um, I see like slight like communication problems here. <sighs> Please remind, this is beta and this is the big rollout of the third part of the beta, so uh, bugs are to be expected and zones are heavily overloaded, especially all in, which is still a very popular zone, so um this is still on a beta level. But um yeah, we are back here. Gonna restart. <laughs> Okay guys, here we are. We are back. Still trying to enter the hangar at Arlen and still not able to. See that? Cannot enter the hangar. Is the hangar full? I don't know. I can start the starboard services. A nice little mount. Uh, let's check here. What a shipyard. Let's check the ship. Here we got the new the Anaconda. This is like the big battleship. Yeah, you can see here. Two small, two medium, three large, and one huge hard point. Oh finally! Finally, thank you. He put him in. So, otherwise than that, the hauler, the viper, the sidewinder, the eagle, basically, um, basically basic. So let's outfit this ship. Some more. Um, I hope I can. Nope, no power plant. And no furniture to it. Head. Nope. I can upgrade my sensors. Basic detection, identification, and targeting. Always. This is a bit heavier than my old one, and draws more power, but has a bigger range. And as this sensors are important. Now. Yeah, my jump distance has gone down to 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, finally we have shield cell back. Um, this is a A1-130, okay. Well, it's not really pricey. Let's take the A1, the best one. So we now have a shield generator, a shield, shield cell bank. These are basically what heat sinks are for your power. Um, shield cells are for your um, uh, shield. So when your shields have not collapsed but are just going down, launching a, a, sh a shield cell bank charger means they charge up again and quite fast. And then it's launched like a battery, one-time battery for your shields. Immediately extreme power, but launch again. Then so, what does the power distribution say? It says nothing. No fuel. Okay. And of course, um, as you can see here, you see this, this, these gray spots around wings and everything. That's friction. That actually reduces the paint coat goes away. Yeah, 
That's not in a fire group, I know. So, I have to now handle this one again. Of course, my power usage has gone way up. Gonna put the car garage out of power because we don't need it. And this is the shield cell bank. Alright. Shields. Let's put those two out. So, first, is this. This is then second. This and now. Uh, Uh, yeah, it is okay. So, let's launch again. Oh, well, let me succeed if models disabled. I need a better drive. Need a better plan. Power plan. Not strong enough. Desperately need a better power plan. Let's see if I can fly back to Stukes, man. Hope that they have not released. Engines engaged. gotten so used to its its move, mobility to its uh, flexibility it's really crazy yeah I can still this is still in in rage yeah. um, my thrusters are able let's see this that's not good. Eat my thrusters, man. Even my fucking thrusters, man. This is. Oh no, wait. That's, that's the one my landing gear was not retracted. Ah, here we go. Everyone's finding dandy here. down my temperature. This will also work in overheating if you're too close to a sun or anything. You can use your heat um, sinks to cool you down immediately. Yeah, I'm sorry about the frame rate and everything, but um, like I've, I've got a statue, static picture right now. It's... it's um, the launch of a new beta, everyone is trying to test it out. Everyone has its money still, which of course is a, a big plus, and everyone will love to do that. But this also means that everyone is getting started right away, you know, equipping their ships and everything. And so that's. Yeah, it's inevitable. It's inevitable. So let's see if that will um, go on now. It doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it's going to start, man. Let me see. I'm guess I gotta restart again. Okay, we're back and we're freakishly close to the station. So. Next try, get the sticks. Man, I don't know where are we? Flying 
straight through the two wings of the station. I mean, look at that. Here. Look at that. Here. One wing. Here's the other wing. Flying straight through them. This has got to say, you know, this, this, um, you know, in flight, station flight, everything, combat, is picture perfect in this game. I have to say that. If bugs aside, picture perfect. This is how a uh, in any space game should have been or should be. Basically, that. That's all I'm saying. I have no freeze picture right now, it's just the usual jumping into space picture. It should now change. Yes, it does. As you can see, now we have this picture again. You can see, you see how this works. You see that? And I'm putting my boost down, up and down. This is working. Absolutely. So, as you can see, the emergency stuff to close messages. We know the one. And we're gonna fly to the Jupiter Hub. So. And after we're done with the Jupiter Hub, I'm hoping that we can get some, uh, some, uh, some, some equipment here, especially a better power plant. Heat level is critical. As you can see, this is a new one. And it's absolutely new. Um, also new, this heat level is critical. This can damage your ship. If you get too close to a sun, it will damage your ship. If you overheat because you are charging your frame shift drive and boosting at the same time, which is possible, you will damage your ship. This can destroy your ship. Do not do that unless you have a heat sink that you can shoot out immediately or you are really desperate, like being hunted by somebody. You need to jump out, you need to get distance so your frame first drive can load. And you need to jump out. Then you can do this and hope that you didn't take enough damage to be destroyed. So, as you can see, this is also very busy right now because everyone knows that you can get nice stuff at you. But we are flying in quite fast, much faster than the others actually. The hell? Hanging. I'm hanging. Ah, here we go. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the problem is also my connection right now isn't great. My um, provider has also s said that there will be we days, probably weeks of sync work at their um, hubs. So, um, this could also be the internet connection itself. I cannot guarantee that it's not. So, um, we're coming in in about 5k per 0.1L, which is okay, which is just how I like it actually. See, it's, this is a very fast approach, but we're gonna make it. Here we go. Bam. Perfect. Perfect approach. That's how I like it. It gives me a too fast warning, but that's only because I am like, at the end I'm about 1k to 800, maybe 750k m per set. So, and that's a good ratio for me. I like that. So this, of course, must be smooth out. This, this has to be smoothed out. Entrance and exit of the you can see my scanners, my sensors are ranging way far, way further now than they used to. These small dots in the back here, I can actually scan them and immediately check them. That's the new scanners for you. So let's press docking. Request granted. There we go. This is a Viper. It's a Missouri vessel. It might scan me. Well, illegal car? Scan it does? Detected. It does. 
I have nothing to declare and I'm clean, so I can be done. If I had a fine, I would have to have I would have to boost to get out of the scanner range. But let's detract the landing gear. This is also something detracting the landing gear. Very, very long. Yeah, comparatively to retracting it. Also very strange. So that's good. Oh yeah. And then here you go. Hey, can I finally enter? Yes, immediately entered. Not like Arlen. Arlen was really troublesome there. Um, so I guess all in was actually full, you know, all the um, all the hangers were full. Let's see what the outfitting has for me. I need the outfitting. So lovely, look at that, the new designs, everything looks such, so much more sleek. So let's see. No power plant, damn it! No frame shift drive, come on! No paint job, of course not. Damn it! I want a new power plant for crying out loud. So... I can replace my... I could replace this with a frame shift drive interdict. See that? And this one is very nice, this is also new. Hatch Breaker Olympic Controller. This uh, hacks unshielded target's hole, so the cargo is ejected. Cargo ejection must now be voluntarily or used by a hatchbreak Olympic controller. Um, or you destroy the cargo hold door, which you can, if you target there. Um, but otherwise you won't get the cargo. If the ship is destroyed, no cargo is left over. The cargo is destroyed with it. What are we not going to replace it? Let's compare. Oh, two tons, so I could actually sell this if I was desperate to reduce my tonnage. So, clusters. They have. Okay. I need this. Oh, there's. So, we're gonna see more of that next time but I want to show you how to land on a platform because you're going to start on a platform as you can see you're starting on a platform you should be used to landing and starting on platforms many of the most distant systems do not have anything but platforms so we're going to do that I'm going to show you that and then we're going to call it a day hope I can upload this like one ship release sure. engines engaged not sure. Landing gear retracted. Yep. Oh. Ah, the speed. I love this. Check, check. Woo! Just it. Just give it that much of a kick. Ah. No, as soon as we have a new frame shift drive, I think I'm gonna play on until we have a, uh, have a better um, frame shift drive and, and power plant. But I can sense, show you that the Eagle is basically the best ship to take for long range exploration. Drive charging. First of all, we're gonna fly to Gersport. Now we have a very, very big um, problem of the uh, super cruise. If you try to super cruise within a system, you can see that down there where the um, here where the uh, speed is right here. Now it's really centered. It you see we're still at seven mm per s. This is way too slow scaling. Way too slow.
see that we are now at 040. We still have... We should be at like... 10, maybe 20 light seconds. We're at 0.4. We are now at 2 light seconds. Now we finally pick up some speed, you see that? Now we finally pick up some speed. This is another ship that's passing us. There's a 101 far in the distance. But this is one of the big problems. You can see a nice background music and everything, but this will remain a problem and still is if you dislike the super cruise you have to live with it there is so far no way around the super cruise no way around doing super cruise flights it's more interesting with interdiction definitely is but um if you dislike super cruise um you know if you really really dislike it ah, damn it it's you see how the frame rate drops here really hard. I think there's something to do with passing other ships. Um, so if you um, really dislike Super Cruise, you are not going to like this game. And I firmly believe that this will cost the game 5 to 10 points in the ratings at the end when it's released. I, I firmly believe that. This is not a feature, it's an annoyance. And it stays an annoyance. So, here we go. We are approaching at about 5 per 0.1 light seconds. Which is exactly what I want. But now I'm getting too fast. Way too fast. Ah, damn it. Just a little bit too fast. Just a little bit too fast. I guess I've gotten too awake. You know, you can... Uh, the, the, the weight of... Of uh, planets is actually speeding me up as you go towards them because you know gravity is pulling on you it's working so you can actually loop around the planet like you would do in space exploration can look around the planet to save fuel and get faster. Actually works. Let's focus docking. As you can see, the docking is on top or below other docking ports on the on the downside. And here, if we don't need that, we need it here. We're gonna take the docking too. Approach this one. And uh, we have to orientate ourselves. Let be here. Yeah, that should be it. Uh, here we go. So, this is a space station. Oh, I forgot to landing gear again. Here we go. Everything fine. Landing gear okay. message only. Landing gear not deployed. Landing gear deployed. Go. Uh, so. Now we're getting really close. Yeah. We're landing on a station. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. And the stars are all about here. And some uh, Ramlock core dynamics and so can be some commercials. Really lovely. Enter the hangar. Mm -hmm. Let's stop for services here. Which is basically it's not that station. If we only flew inside the system, really low fuel. And we have no outfitting here. Repairs, you can repair all or repair part of it. And you can repair wear and tear, which I will. So Now should be at um, the very best. And we are now immediately going to exit again. And we're going to end the video here. As I leave the station and fly out into the open space. 
Find my power plant and frame shift drive upgrade that I so desperately need. Um, I'm going to bid you all a nice farewell. And I hope you are enjoying this outlook of the beta 3. If you are still indecisive, you should wait for the game release. Or more videos of mine and others. But I can safely say that if you like space simulation games, you are going to like this game. There is nearly no chance that you are not going to like this game. Simply because it is graphically very nice. Um, the combat is lovely, really is. The flight is lovely, the stations look awesome. And uh, you can really mod your ships now. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely worth it. And uh, if you are in Germany, it costs about, what is it, 40, maybe 50 bucks to buy the game now. Trust me, guys. I know game players like me who spend 80 bucks on something like Mass Effect 3. And I swear to you. I've already spent more time in this game than Mass Effect 3. Because I only played the single player of Mass Effect 3 once. Only once. So. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna fly over to Chew Hub and uh, try to get some uh, nice new equipment. And I'm gonna see you guys next time. Bye! Oh, 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 oh